Here's a simple way for you to save a hierarchical material preset affecting only certain surfaces. So I'm just going to do a quick test here. I'm going to... Eh, that's not visible, is it? <laughs> Let me see. I'll just go ahead and make it so they're... All right. So I've made some changes there. Hard to see when you're not rendering. But removing the map is helpful for sure. Okay. So I want to save just the sides uh, surface. So I'm going to use the geometry editor tool and I'm going to make sure I have the hair selected and I'm going to hide everything that is not the sides group. Okay. So with the sides being only visible and I go to geometry editing, delete hidden polygons. This is a temporary thing. Don't save anything. Just we do this. And now, if I go to the figure and save a hierarchical material preset, let's see, HMET deletion test, that'll work. And I'm just going to uncheck the male, so it's just the hair, and hit accept. Alright, now I can just delete that hair and load the original in. And, well first let's just go open that open that file up. What made it into my hierarchical material preset? The sides material group and that's it. So it is a clean clean file and then I can go and apply my preset and it worked just fine. So that is a pretty quick simple way to make it so you're only including certain material groups in with your preset. So that's what I would suggest. That's way faster than hand editing the file.